Okay, you guys know how I feel about an IPA. It's a little soapy. This is all I had in the house, so this is what you're getting today, okay? <laughs> I'm filming this at 11 a.m. Yes, don't judge me. This isn't too bad for like a morning drink. I know that sounds terrible. This is the Dogfish Head 90 Minute Imperial IPA. I'm not mad about it. I also feel like I'm giving like a very summery situation. Like maybe I look like I'm going to the Caribbean. I basically am because I'm just sweating to death in my New York City apartment. I just, I couldn't put on like a hot sweater for you today, I'm sorry. So today we're just gonna do a good old fashioned get ready with me. I haven't done one of those in a while and I do have some really fun new makeup that I'm excited to show you guys. I'm gonna start out with that technique I told you guys about that I learned from Alicia of Kinky Sweat where she takes her Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. She uses that as her base and then she puts your foundation over it and it's just like a blurred, flawless finish. I've done it a few times now and I'm kind of obsessed. It's going to seem roll shiny at first. Okay. So just, just, it's going to be okay. The only thing about this product that I wish they would change is the packaging. Yes, I love that it's glass, but it's got this doe foot applicator and every time I put it in, all this product pops out and then sticks around the rim of the glass. I don't like it. But you know what? I mean, it's really a small price to pay. And I'm using my BK Beauty 101 Contoured Foundation Brush. I really love this as an application tool for this particular technique. Honestly, one of the trends for makeup at the Golden Globes I felt was just very dewy, shiny skin. It's kind of a trend for a few years now really. I feel like this is one of those products that's going to give you that red carpet I just came from the spa look. Just so you know I did my normal skincare routine before this, washed my face, used my favorite serums including my Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum and then I prepped my skin with this Touch In Soul Glassy Skin Balm which is still to this day one of my favorite skincare products from the last year. Now that I patted that into my skin I'm going to go over it with my oh man this is just so busted without the top this is my physician's formula the healthy foundation my particular shade is ln3 and i also have a lot of people ask what my shade of the hollywood flawless filter is it's fair one because i'm pale as hell again with the glass bottle and the doe foot and the product spilling out like we're just accepting it because it's the only way i can get it okay so if you guys missed my live stream i did a whole chat about the golden globes but don't you worry because I'm gonna tell you what my favorite outfits were from the night. I loved Phoebe Waller-Bridge's suit. I just think she looked absolutely incredible. The whole ensemble, I'm talking about the hair, the makeup, she just she just pulls it off. You know what I mean? I just think she's funky and irreverent and fun and I absolutely love it. Olivia Coleman, I loved her high neck red dress with those huge sleeves. She's flawless. Charlize Theron, I mean, she could wear a gunny sack and she looked good, but I mean, that dress was so different, but so stunning. I loved the color choice, like almost a sort of neon green and then black. Funky yet elegant at the same time. Her hair is nailing it. I know I'm mentioning a lot of ladies with short hair. I just love it. What can I say? Glenn Close. I just, you know, she's always just beauty and grace and elegance, but her navy blue velvet ensemble and her makeup and her hair, I just felt like it was really regal yet soft at the same time. But if I had to pick an absolute favorite from the evening, it would have to be Zoe Kravitz. It was almost so perfect that it made me angry. Just that super chic Mia Farrow haircut. Her skin is glowing. Going. She just looks fabulous in that polka dot ensemble. It was something really different that I've never seen at an awards show. I just, I thought it was great. A lot of people on my live stream wanted to know what I thought about JLo's dress. She's another person who's always gonna look gorgeous. She's just beautiful. Couldn't really get down with that. She just looked like a big old golden green Christmas present. Just, I wasn't really into the bow theme this year. I mean, I like a bow occasionally in the right place. This wasn't it for me. Okay, people also are just dying to know what everyone thinks about Gwyneth Paltrow's dress. I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't hate it, okay? I know it's very divisive. By the way, I'm using my e.l.f. cream blush in the shade Soft Peach. I mean, I think she's a little wackadoo and that kind of affects like how I feel about everything she wears, but I 
I thought she pulled it off. I mean, was it strange? Yes, but couture is strange. So the setting powder I'm going to use is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I want to use this because it's going to counteract the dewiness just a little bit. But can you guys see like how gorgeous the finish is with that technique I use? It's kind of my new favorite thing. All right, this is like the only concealer I'm using as of late. Sorry, it's so repetitive. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I'm in the shade Light 33C. And I know this seems kind of like a big brush to apply my concealer with, but honestly, it's the quickest, easiest way to apply it besides a beauty blender. I love this brush. I included it in my best of 2019. This is just the quickest, most flawless way to do my face. I know you can't really tell how long that just took me because I edit the hell out of my videos, but that probably took me about like seven seconds to blend all of that in. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my bronzer and I'm going to use this Tarte palette. This is actually something that I'm using a lot. I got it in a boxy charm. I thought the aesthetic of it was beautiful, but I was like, do I need all these bronzers though? Yes. Yes, I do. I mean, need is a strong word, but I, I'm just picking it up like almost every day. I'm gonna take that Refer P22 bronzer brush, which BT Dubs was featured in Alicia of Kinky Sweat's Best Brushes of 2019 as well. You guys know I raved about that head wrap in my December favorites video. This is the exact same head wrap, just a different color. Can you see the nubby nubbins? Can you see them? This is the texture I'm talking about. That is what keeps it in my hair. I'm gonna push that back because I wanna make sure I really get that bronzer blended into my hairline. You don't want a line there. I love Scarlett Johansson's makeup as well, the Golden Globes. I thought it was stunning. That's an example of like a lot of bronzer, but done really well. She just looked like a glowing goddess. Drum roll, please. This next product is something that I have wanted for a very long time. And I don't know why I've taken so long to bite the bullet, probably because it's a little spency. However, worth it. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This particular shade is Diffused Light. This is very subtle and I feel like I'm already super glow so you might not notice a huge difference, but it's just that extra little mm at the end that just really seals the deal. You know what I mean? Like it's just stunning. So I'm just going to take my big powder brush and just go over my whole face with that and also use that to really make sure that bronzer is blended in well. I get really nervous if I think my bronzer isn't blended well. I just think that is one of the most busted looking things ever. I just love this and I don't feel like it's heavy. Also, if you are doing a no makeup day, you can just throw this on and it gives you just a really healthy glow. It's like you have a filter on your face. Got a double filter on today because I got my Hollywood Flawless filter and then I've got this. Moving on to eyes, I am going to do a very bare eye today because that's what I'm feeling. Just gonna pull out one of my all time holy grails. It never gets old. It's super simple. It's so well used that it's almost worn off, but this is MAC in the color Malt. This is great if you have fair skin and you just want to give like just a little tiny bit of color to your lids, like super, super natural. You know what I mean? Tell you what, these MAC shadows last and last. I'm almost tempted to do a total baby eye today. I'm not sure. No, I'm not gonna do a baby eye because I wanna use mascara. I actually just got this from Sephora. I mean, I've talked about the Lancome Monster Big before. I feel like Monster Big is basically the high-end version of the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. So I'm gonna take this moment to just say, you know that I feel like I have some of the coolest subscribers around. Like most of you guys are pretty much nailing it to the damn ground. I feel like I'm getting more and more comments as of late where people are just yelling at me in printed word. Listen, if I say a word that you don't like or I voice an opinion that you don't like and it's not your opinion, that's okay. It's okay and you know what? If it's not okay, you have every right to not watch anymore. If I'm just not into something and I'm not feeling it, I just leave. However, yelling at me in my own comments to not do specific things on my channel is not going to change anything I do on my channel. And there might be parts of me that you're not into. 
because you know I'm a human being. My aim is to continue to be as true to who I am as I can possibly be. I'm not trying to be anyone else. I'm not trying to shy away from how I feel about things in order to gain subscribers. I'm not trying to be disingenuous. A lot of you guys totally get what my channel is about and who I am and I'm really not trying to talk down to you at all. But I think as my channel grows and I gain more subscribers, I just want to be really transparent about what my channel is about and who I am. Okay, so now I'm spending a million years to finish the mascara on my left eye. I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think about me doing a video or a series of videos that is advice for people visiting New York. I've really been contemplating this because I feel like I get a lot of questions as a person who's lived in New York for 15 years now. Where do I go? What are the best things to do? I kind of want to do like a locals guide. Probably going to have some New York City rants in there, not going to lie. Done and done. Now we're going to move on to some brows. I want to be super quick and easy peasy with the brows as well. I'm just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. Going back Back to the Golden Globes, I'm trying to think of the people who I thought just had amazing makeup. Of course, the makeup that I loved most was where people's amazing skin just shone through, you know? Aquafina, I thought her skin was like incredible, like flawless. Sorry to bring up Charlize Theron again, but I mean, I really loved her makeup because it was so simple. She did a totally clean eye from what I could tell. And then she had like a really little teeny cat eye, like a baby cat eye. And then she had these like gorgeous, fluffy, natural lashes that were winged at the end. Natural skin, pretty toned down lips. I just, I, I loved it. Pretty much what I want for my life right there, so. Another person whose dress I thought was really kind of bizarre and different, but I still liked was Michelle Williams. I loved the color of her dress. It was that bright orange with that like pop of bright blue. I actually did, a Michelle Williams video like in the very beginning of my channel I did a tribute to her makeup look I think it was for the Oscars a couple years ago I'll link it down below brushing through my brows to make sure everything looks nice and natural okay so now I'm very excited because I have a couple new blushes which is something I have not purchased in a long time I've had the same powder blush for I feel like the last year and a half so sorry about that NARS actually came out with I believe 10 new blush shades so I had to try something new. The shade Aroused which is this really beautiful deep berry shade which I want to use in sort of like some sort of a wintry snow fairy look coming up maybe. But what I'm going to feature today is one of their other brand new colors. This is Orgasm X. So this is a new shade of Orgasm. I feel like I'm going to love it. It is shimmery. Okay, so you can see it does have quite a bit of shimmer, but you guys know how much I love a pigmented coral cheek. It is just the epitome of health. Okay, all right, this is exactly what I needed it to be. Okay, I think this officially might be my new favorite blush shade. This setting, that little peach cream blush I showed you is killer. NARS Blush and Orgasm X, good job. Guys, I finally did it. I got a full-size Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I know, alert the media. This is in her brand new shade, Scarlet Spell. I think it might be a limited edition shade. I wouldn't necessarily choose this shade for the look I have today, but we're gonna make it work. And you know how we're gonna make it work? We're gonna do a blotted lip, which was also something that I was loving at the Golden Globes. Case in point, Kate Blanchett. Killing the blotted lip. So I'm gonna apply this with my finger. That's how we're gonna do it. We're just going to make this really subtle. Make sure your lips are really nice and hydrated. Break out that Laneige lip mask. This is really doing it for me right now. I can't believe the name of this lipstick is called Matte Revolution because it applies so creamy. Well, someone's trying to steal a car. That's what I love about application techniques. You can really change the shade of a product depending on how you apply it. This is like a really intense, beautiful cranberry red. And if I just put it on just from the bullet, it's gonna be really intense. If I use my finger to apply it and buff it in, it gives you this like really fresh, natural sort of popsicle stained lip that's 
my favorite. We don't really need highlighter per se because we're glowing to the gods, but I'm going to apply some. I'm going to apply the highlighter that I included in my last month's favorites. This is the Glossier Play Highlighter Concentrate in Pale Pearl. Super quick and easy, done and done. Hey guys, so that wraps up this Get Ready With Me. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are digging on my content, please do subscribe, share and like, and click that little bell right beneath the video. That is what is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Cheers until next time. Mm.